Hi, Taurus. We're going to do your 2022 forecast. So let's get the vibe high. Wish all good things for Taurus. Raise the vibration. That way we connect to good angelic sources for the information. And we're going to be reading from the Archangel deck. This is the one I'm doing the forecast with this time. It's been a really good deck. Very solid. It's been coming up with some good stuff. So here we go with Taurus. So, Taurus, your first card, which is card 14, which is also temperance, is the solutions card. And it says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So kind of look at that, especially that beginning part, success that comes from objective compromise. Okay. So one of the things I feel like I like the fact the very first word, even in your forecast is the word success. And I know how important that success is for you on the path, especially our us earth signs were goal oriented. Okay. So, but one of the things about that is some kind of compromise and I don't feel it's necessarily a compromise with a person as much as it may be about something else. Compromising some kind of things that we have kind of in our life and on the path um, that we kind of need to, we, we need to get the balance there. But the temperance card is very much about balance, you know, and the need for moderation. But also another thing about the temperance card, which I really like about it, it's about divine timing. Okay, it's about divine timing, which makes me realize that you have been waiting on uh, some things to happen for you. And uh, I, I especially believe in 2021, I kind of feel like you're kind of sitting there like, you know what, I could have had a better year in 2021. Some things didn't pan out exactly the way I wanted. And you've been kind of waiting on something, you know, kind of magical to happen here. And everything now you work for what is yours um you're good about that and everything but you know taurus is a pretty patient sign um that's that's one thing about them um they're they're a pretty patient sign they're a very peaceful sign the bull is normally peaceful unless provoked that's one of the things people need to understand the bull is peaceful unless provoked and this is this is what everything centers on. And that, you know, they, just don't disturb their inner peace, okay? Don't disturb a Taurus's inner peace. But you're okay waiting on you know the right things to come. You're you're a very patient sign, and you know when all you know, in due time, that which you need is going to manifest. Okay, so let's see your crossing card. Your crossing card is the Four of Cups or the Four of Raphael. Now, what are the things about this card? It can be about a missed opportunity. Okay, so this is your opposing card. This is kind of, I like to look at the opposing card kind of as a warning card. Um, so a, an opportunity is going to present itself in 2022. That spirit is kind of warning, um, don't pass it by. What it kind of makes me feel is I feel you've got kind of your, your hopes, and, and you're focused on one thing to happen. But I feel like spirit has another plan for something to happen for you that's even bigger and even better. Okay? It's, it's kind of what it makes me feel. So one of the things that we need to do here on everything, because spirit knows more than you do, just like spirit <clears throat> knows more than I do, is be open-minded to other possibilities. Because that's one of the things that the card says. Seek out other possibilities. Be open. That's what it thinks the Four of Cups is about. Is there is another opportunity there that you're not quite seeing. That you need to be open-minded. And when this opportunity presents itself, don't shrug it off because it's not exactly what you want. Okay? That's the thing. That's the key thing here. Don't shrug it off because it's not exactly what you want. That it's not exactly what you intended. Okay, because sometimes we're, we're just not perfect people. Let's face it. We're not perfect people and spirit knows what's better for us. Okay, so when this opportunity presents itself, do not shrug it off because it's because it's it's not exactly what you want. Okay, because when you take the opportunity, it's going to be everything you ever wanted.
Okay, does that make sense? So we've got the Eight of Wands here and stuff. Everything is going to be happening very fast. Okay, so a period of being stuck gets in motion. And that's one of the things. We've got this temperance energy here, right? You know, which everything kind of waiting on and waiting on. But you're a patient person. You're like, that's okay. I don't mind. Good things come to go those who wait. But then all of a sudden, things are going to pick up momentum. So about a few months into the year, all of a sudden, everything's going to pick up momentum. And you're going to start seeing what you're meant to do. But the good thing is, I feel you're going to realize it in time, what you're meant to do with yourself. You know, with these energies that are coming on and everything like that. Now, look at that. See? Ada Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. It, it, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Taurus. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. That's what I'm saying. I feel like spirit has another plan for you. And right now you're kind of attached to um, certain scenarios and situations, you know, for things to manifest. You've been working toward a certain kind of goal. Okay. Is, is what kind of, and the eight of cups can be about that investing into something, but then but you're going to, you're going to get this other opportunity that spirit's going to ask you to walk away from your original plan. Okay. Spirit's going to be like, I want you to walk away from your original plan because I've got a better thing for you. That's even going to be better for your spirit and your spiritual path and your spiritual growth and everything that is going to lead more satisfaction and fulfillment than you could have realized. Okay. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why that's there. That's why that's there, Taurus. So a change in plans is coming here. And then here we go. Page of Michael, which is Page of Swords, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents. So, see, that's what I'm saying. You're going to get news of a new opportunity. This is about this is about receiving news. And it's going to be a new opportunity. And it, it's going to kind of blow your mind, I feel, when it happens to you. It's going to kind of blow your mind. And you're, you're going to be like, what? I never planned on that, though. But that's not exactly what you saw for yourself. So this is going to be a big theme for you is, is there's going to be a major shift. And a lot of this shift is happening because of all the, you know, the big global shifts, you know, that we're dealing with here. And then we got the Knight of Swords here. So, you know, what things I feel like you've been a little bit worried. Um, you're patient, but you've just been a little bit, you know what, what if everything... I've invested is all for naught, you know, is, is kind of what that makes me feel. But this is the thing, this it, be optimistic. Spirits like you switch gears with that. Be optimistic because positive change is coming. Okay. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great for you and everything. And just like it says, focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire and everything. But when you focus on the outcome that which you desire, as there's going to be a little bit of a shift here, what what is most important to you? I want you if if you're journaling for 2022, I kind of get a list and prioritize the most important things to you. Um, you know your people. You know the people you love are normally going to be number one. You know and things like that. But what's also good for your spiritual growth and everything? You know, kind of look at that. Prioritize that. And then in your position, look at that. The Ace of Gabriel, which is the Ace of Fire. I step a gift of passion, opportunity, spirits handing you an opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing. Okay. This is a great, I'm really excited for you um, because you're going to be blessed with an opportunity that is going to be amazing. And when it hits you, you'll know it when it hits you. Okay. Remember this read the you can, and you can always go back to my YouTube and watch it again, but you will know when this opportunity hits you in 2022. At first, you might be like, that's not exactly what I, I had planned here. And then, but once you take this opportunity, which is a lot of what the Four of Cups, and especially the Ace of Wands is about, everything's going to take off. And that's where it gets real speedy here with this kind of energy, with everything just gets in motion and everything starts happening fast. And just, and you, and you're going to feel free. Um, that's one of the things, I mean, you're going to feel so free once you take this opportunity. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Now, I also take note of that 
um, practical and wise advice, okay? So really kind of be listening. I feel like you're going to have a lot of messengers, okay, that are going to kind of come to you and be guiding you on the path and everything, and they're going to be your messengers and your guides, okay? They're going to be angels walking the earth, and really pay attention to the wisdom that you're being given here and so forth. And of course, nurture those you love. Your, your Venus, your Venus, you have no problem nurturing those you love and everything. There'll be plenty of that. You are a lover, you know, and you especially love your peace. And look at that. See, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love of the beautiful things of life. Knight of Cups here. Just to have that sense of accomplishment. You're going to be very accomplished in 2022. Let's see that outcome card. That's the one everybody always wants to know about. Five of Uriel. Now, one of the things about this card, um, which is the Five of Earth, and I know sometimes people go, oh, no, that's kind of the worry card and worry about financial success and everything. The thing that Spirit is really trying to emphasize to people right now, you know, and stuff, is help is on the way. A lot of the helpers are coming. Notice this angel is here, you know, right? And there's a door and they're ready to offer the help. So you're going to have a lot of helpers. And, and see, that's what I feel this is trying to say here, especially with the queen, is you're going to have a lot of messengers and a lot of helpers guiding you because you have a higher purpose here. And that's one of the things is when you get in alignment with spirit's higher purpose for you and everything, it's going to be a little off the beaten path, a little bit of an adjustment to plans that you had. Okay. So it could be, um, for some of you, you might suddenly lose your job. Okay. And then you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. But then this other opportunity comes along and it's big and it's huge. And then you're going to be like, now I understand why. Okay. Now I understand why this happened because spirit had a better opportunity for me. Okay. And so, um, there's, you know, going to be some of you that may have started businesses. They just, they just haven't been doing it, you know, and then another opportunity is going to present itself to implement into the business or go into a, a completely different business altogether. And it's just going to boom. Okay. So some of you are just, you're just, you're almost there, but just slightly off track and spirit just wants to go like that and shift you. So it's going to be big. It's going to be big. But just be prepared, you know, for that change and everything. Be prepared for that change and be prepared for some adjustments needing to be made on the path. But they're going to be positive as long as you accept the opportunity. Now, if you get stubborn because you're a thick sign and you are that stubborn bull, okay, you are stubborn. And sometimes being stubborn is a good thing. But if you're stubborn, you're like, nope, I want to do things this way. I want this. You know, if, if you do that, that's going to mess you up. Listen to spirit. Take the opportunity. Now let's look at love. Everybody wants to know about love. Ooh, okay. Now remember this, you know, not every single Taurus. Okay. But let's see what we've got here. So this is a, a couple things here. I feel some of this applies to the past for some of you Tauruses. Some of this could apply for some of my present Tauruses. Okay, with what is happening here. But I do got the deception card. So um, some of you dealt with this in the last year or so. That you dealt with some kind of deception. Um, which, which makes you kind of... Um, one of the things spirit is kind of putting me um, at here with this energy, you know, is for those who have this happen, don't make the same mistake again. We need to be, keep an open mind. Look at this card here, what it says. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is what, this is something that Taurus has been doing here. Okay, so already we kind of talked about a little bit, maybe career and certain energies and opportunity. Now love has a similar theme here, okay, that we need to keep an open mind that at first we might be in a situation we, we're normally attracted to a certain character and every time we go that road, we're going to deception, okay, where we're apparently we're, you know, bad boys, bad girls, 
whatever my Taurus, male or female here, you know, or could be, you know, same gender, same thing. Spirit is like keep an open mind. So we can avoid that kind of fate here. Okay, that we need to change what we're attracted to. And there are times when I've advised people in my readings, I've advised that you need to change what you're attracted to. There's something about what you're attracted to that is not working. Okay, so we got to be careful with the baddies and things like that. We got to be careful with the baddies. And then I do have the card children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so for some of you, um, especially for my Tauruses who are mothers or fathers, okay, this is one of the main reasons we got to be wise with our partners, okay, because when we are, we're having our relationships, children, even if you have grown children, okay, they're affected, okay, even if they're grown children, now within reason, you know, when you're, you're grown up, hey, you guys are on your own, let your mother live, let your father live, but still, you know, a lot of times they see, they see past those red flags real good. You got to listen to children. Now, if your children don't like someone you're with, you need to listen to them. Okay. They're always right. They're always right. If children do not like who you date, get rid of them. I'm telling you, even if they're grown, get rid of them because they're always right. That's a hands down. They're always right. That's the way they're, they're the best truth detectors because they always have your best interests at heart and so with some of you um just keep keep it in keep it an open mind for looking for different because some of you have not made good choices in your relationships you're you're choosing deceptive characters okay and and we've got to stop that and we got to think especially for you who are mothers or fathers we need to think of the children here no we can't only think of ourselves I know you have needs. I know you want love and all that. But if your kids don't like your partner, you get rid of them. Okay? Because they know. They know a good guy from a bad guy. They know a good girl from a bad girl. That's the way it is. It always will be that way. Just like if your mother or father dates someone, you know, if they're divorced and they're dating someone, you know the good from the bad. You know it. Because kids, they're just real good at that. Okay, so be careful with that. And then let's pull some lover's cards for that. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be careful with that, man. See what we got. Yeah, some of you are going to be walking away from relationships that just aren't serving right. Some of you are going to be walking away, Eight of Cups. And we had the Eight of Cups in your other layout too, remember? Um, so we're definitely going to be walking away from um, some situations that serve. This is about getting on a spiritual quest and letting go of attachments, things that no longer serve us. Let, you know, and you're about to embark on a new life and a new energy and really get, you know, your career and your stability and getting into your dreams and your passion. And, and you have the ability to live a very passionate and fulfilling 2022 life here and get some good things going on and stuff. So as you're kind of embarking on this very new, fresh, innovative type of year, you can't put new wine in old wineskins. So any kind of relationships that are bringing you down, okay, that are not evolving with you, because you're evolving. Okay, we got to get rid of them. We got to get rid of them. And so, I like the move reversed. You're going to get a lot more clarity in the year. And you're going to start seeing things as they are. Um, which is really important. So for those who are dealing with relationships that have been deceptive and things like that. You're going to start seeing them for what they are. And so, you're going to, you know, but you got to stop being stubborn. You know, and trying to be a fixer and things like that. Seven of Pentacles reversed. It, you're, you're about growth right now. Okay, you're about growth, but if you're in the wrong relationship, it's going to stunt your growth. Okay, it's going to stunt your growth. And one of the things you need, you know, I, I look at this with the Four of Pentacles reverse energy, which is also Taurus energy too. Um, one of the things you want to do 
is be careful who you open up to. You know, spirit is saying, and yeah, six of swords, we're going to be moving on. We're going to be moving on. So if you've been dealing any kind of deception, if you've got a liar, okay, you've been dating a liar or anything like that, you know, liar, male, female, whatever, okay, and they keep deceiving you and they're just not honest and you can't trust them, why are you with them? Okay, because spirit has, has got another plan for you and you can have a good love and a good partner, but Taurus needs to change what they're attracted to. That is a theme, you know, that is happening and stuff. So, especially with that for those dating. Now, with those who are married, and you know, those that who are married in relationships, you know, if you've already found your own, you're totally fine. Remember, this is a collective read. But <clears throat> if anybody has dealt with any kind of dishonesty or deception, it, it's definitely going to get worse in 2022 until you nip it in the bud. And you are the only one that can nip it in the bud. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and look at Crystal. I love this deck. Let's see what it has to say to Taurus. So this is Turquoise and it says Spiritual Path. And Turquoise is a very, very spiritual stone. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Lots of life changes are going to be coming up. And I know it's super hard for Taurus to change. Um, stubborn, you know, they're they're tough to change and everything. I know, you know, I work with some Tauruses and things like that. And it, it can be mm -mm, tough to get through. And look at that. You're getting gold, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Remember I told you the helpers are coming. And remember the earth angels too. You know, it doesn't, it's not always going to be like, you know, a, a big light portal opens up in your living room and, you know, you see a burning bush or something. But the messengers, the, the angelic messengers can be just, they appear human when you meet them, but they're really angels in disguise. Aqua Aura, healthy communication and relationships. See? Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication helps you understand and be understood. With your relationships, are you communicating clearly? I mean, do you have a good, solid communication with your partner? If you don't, and especially if you can't trust them, okay, you need to look at that. You need to look at that, okay? Good communication is so important. That's like the number one thing. I mean, it really is the number one thing to have good communication. And I'm looking for, there it is. I got so many decks to be pulling for you. So I'm going to pull you a shadow card. This is from like my Threads of Fate. I like to call it my Shadow Oracle. Yeah, that one. That one's called me. What do we got? Ancestors. So I love this image. She is beautiful. So really connected to the Ancestors story this time. I feel a lot of divine intervention is coming for you. A lot of divine intervention is coming for you. I'd really kind of tap it into that ancestral energy, that power. Really going to be coming for you. A little help from the universe here. Explore, love, create. And this one, oh my God, can I read this? <laughs> the only thing that holds you back is you. Excellent. The only thing that holds you back is you. Perfect message. Because Taurus is stubborn. Taurus is stubborn. I know. I know a lot about Taurus. Walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. Very important. Don't be following anybody. Don't be doing it everybody else's way. And if your way isn't working, make a change. Feel and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. And that's one of the things, especially anything with 2020, 2021, that you feel you need to kind of release, you know, and kind of let go of and purge. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Yeah, but don't make me come after you. Don't, if you're dealing with deception, if you're dealing with that, don't be, you know, don't be putting up with these liars now. And from the power of love, this is a nice little deck.
okay, ooh, look at that vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. And that's one of the things, Taurus is very peaceful and a pretty optimistic sign for the most part. You know, they're, they're pretty optimistic. They're even in a world of chaos, they find a way to find peace. And, you know, they do have their ways of doing that, you know, <coughs> but <clears throat> it takes time to master that. It takes time to master that. And then you've got the card passed. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. The key to peace that the, the, the key that gets the Taurus really going here is being able to release the past. Now, they have the hardest time doing that, probably, because they're fixed and they're stubborn. It can be very hard, um, and they can be very past-focused. Once they do that and achieve that peace, so you can't disturb their peace. Once they make that move and stuff, and then they're like, why did I do this? All along, I had the power. That's the thing. Willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So you've got that willingness card in everything. I uh, see that's what we were talking about. There was a little bit of that compromise in that first card. Remember that? Remember that? There was a little bit of that compromise. Kind of an, an adjustment, a little bit of an adjustment on the path. You know, like this wasn't exactly my plan. You know, that's what you're you're gonna kind of feel that in the year. Things aren't going exactly as I planned. But once you get in tune with what uh, the plan is, you know. When you get in, in tune with what a bigger plan is that's even better, then you'll realize, oh, that was my soul contract plan. Now I get it, you know, and everything. I do hope you enjoyed your read and have a good 2022.